Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a chess video. I have never done a chess video in my life. And, um... I know you couldn't see it just then, but I was staring at the camera doing my best impression of Gotham Chess. So, this is a game played between my sister and I. My sister has a lot of fun with chess. And I also have a lot of fun with chess, but I also know, like, two openings... And I'm rated 1,200 in daily games on chess.com. I don't play really anything other than daily games. Um, and we just thought it would be fun to play a chess game. And I asked her if I could put it on my YouTube channel. So she said yes, and here I am doing it. G4. Apparently this is a book move. I have never seen this opening in my life, couldn't really tell you what it is. Um, it's at least not F3, so, yeah. So I guess it's not exactly the worst opening, but me, being a loyal Gotham chess fan, I play the Karo Khan, which the computer doesn't like. My sister pushes g5 no idea what that move does she's ignoring all chess principles take the center develop your pieces no idea b5 again just playing the karo Khan the way that i know how and she puts her bishop on h3 she is already worse on move two and I take the bishop, and my sister says, Oh no! Oh no, I just blundered my bishop. And then she realizes that that was just a trade. So anyway, e6, closing the triangle. My sister puts both knights on the rim, again ignoring principles, but at least respecting the develop your knights before your bishop principle, and I put a bishop on d6, because that is the way that I know how to play the caro. And she just puts her knight right back, thinking that I was going to take it, and that I was just being nice by only putting my bishop on d6 and not taking the knight, I don't know. Um, anyway... So I put a knight on e7. My sister is far behind in development. And she puts her rook on g1. And I castle right into it. I put my king on the g file. I am locked in. And then she pushes her rook forward to g4. And I put my knight on g6 to lock it in, make sure it can't go to h4 to attack my pawn. And now, now she wants to take the center. So she plays d4, and I take a pawn because I see a free pawn, and I go om nom nom. But the computer doesn't like it. The computer thinks that I should have done something else, and that... That was a mistake, and I don't know why, but neither does she. She plays queen d3, developing her queen, and I give a check, which was apparently a miss. I don't know how. Um, I guess I should have... I should have put the bishop on e5... Sacrifice the bishop for a fork. I don't know. I'm not looking at stockfish moves right now. Because this is not a very serious game. She pushes her pawn. Instead of blocking with the bishop. And I play e5. Looking for a pawn break. She doesn't take it. Actually, she goes queen e3. So now that fork is not possible. 
and I just defend the pawn. It is double defended now. She pushes the A pawn, looking to Uga Booga activate her rook for a second time. And I bring the other rook into the game. All of my pieces are developed, and my E pawn is triple defended and twice attacked. And she puts her knight on f4. And I take it. That apparently was not a blunder. That was only an inaccuracy. And I... I don't know. It looks like a blunder to me. So I take it. And her queen is now under attack. So she steps it back to d3 where it was just a second ago. I push my c pawn looking for another pawn break. And she puts her knight on d2, activating the knight. That is the second time this knight has been activated. And I, I take. C takes d4. I get my pawn break. She declines to take it, and that is somehow not a miss. I don't know why. But, anyway... Now the fork is possible, this beautiful fork of the queen and the rook, and my sister did not even react, she didn't even see what was going on here, she just attacks my bishop, and I take the rook. I actually had to tell her that this was called a fork, um, but anyway, so she takes my knight, and I just gobble up another pawn. I'm looking for b takes c3, looking to attack the rook. Um, she doesn't take it, so I just take the knight. Again, I don't know how, I don't know how this wasn't a blunder when her knight was under attack and she just did nothing about it. She could have attacked my queen with that knight. She could have attacked my bishop with that knight. Uh, she could have actually trapped my bishop with that knight. So I just take it. She takes that pawn back and attacks my queen. I step my queen back to uh, get out of that attack. And she blunders the juicer. And I take it. She doesn't do anything about it. And I take the rook with check. She steps her king out. She is down 15 points of material. It is brutal. This game is pretty much over. And I push my B pawn. Looking to get rid of her A pawn. She, again, does nothing about it. So I just take it. And now she puts her queen on B3. And the computer says I have M8. When there is an M on the evaluation, the game is, for all intents and purposes, over. If you're playing at any level above beginner, to be honest. And I push my A pawn, or, well, I push my B pawn, which is now on the A file, to attack her queen. I'm looking to make another queen. She just... Puts her queen right back where it was. And I push that pawn again. Now she steps her king out. I check. She puts her king back. I take the queen. Again, another fork. Another A royal fork. I have had two forks on the same square with the same knight. Uh, no, that's not the same knight. And that's... Not, yeah, that is the same square. But yeah, so Royal Fork, she just puts her king right back where it was. I mean, this is this is disrespectful to your pieces, if you ask me, playing like this. And she puts her knight, her king, right back, and I have taken all her pieces now. And she can take my knight, but she doesn't. She is just committed to this back-and-forth game now. So I check, she puts it right back. I push my pawn, and I make a queen. The game's over. I check. 
she puts it back. I mean, it was her only legal move there. No, it wasn't. She could have stepped over to... No, yeah, it was, because of the rook. I check again. And... Mate. Very fun game. Um, Rose, I love you. Uh, but watch Gotham Chess. Get a little bit better at chess. Um, I had a lot of fun. And I hope you did too. And if we play any more games, hopefully she will win next time. And yeah, it'll be a fun video. So have a blessed day.